Hi, I'm Paula, owner of Storehouse Tea Company. Today we're going to show you how to brew a pot of tea using organic, fair trade, loose leaf tea. We're going to start with bring a pot of organic, loose leaf, ginger peach tea. Uh, this tea is a white tea. We're going to take our infuser out of our pot. This pot is a 45 ounce pot and we're going to take, um, usually it's about a tablespoon per 10 ounces of water. So we're based on a 45 ounce pot. We're going to say it's about four and a half tablespoons or five tablespoons. Okay, I'm going with five. Um, and because this is white, it's a delicate tea and you want to not use a boil because that can uh, scorch the leaves. So you want to take a nice filtered water, get it to the right temperature, um, which is under a boil, like I said, and you're just going to pour that over your leaves. And you're going to let that infuse for about five minutes. I'm going to fill that all the way up. I'm going to set a clock if you want so that you don't forget because white tea can get a little um, oversteeped if you forget about it. So we're going to put the lid on. We're going to check out our, our, our time on our watch or our clock on our stove. And we're going to steep that for five to six minutes. Okay, our tea's ready. It's been five minutes. We're going to take it out. You can see how the leaves have totally expanded and puffed up. Um, the characteristics of white tea have, there's a little silvery white down bud and the two leaves under it, and that's what's picked for the white tea. Okay, now we're ready to serve our tea. Uh, this lid actually is great because it has a really nice silicone ring um, on it, which keeps it in place so that when you pour your tea, you're not, it's not going to fall off. You don't have to hang on to it. Okay, this is our 15 ounce infuser mug. Um, these are great for work or if you're the only tea drinker in your house. It's a nice big mug, 15 ounces. Um, it has a nice lid to keep your tea warm. Then you have to look at the um, instructions on every package to tell you if it's a tablespoon or a teaspoon. Uh, but you want to put like one and a half, if you're doing a white tea, one and a half teaspoons in here to two, depending on the flavor. And then you would just put your leaves in there, add your water, uh, let it steep and infuse for the proper time. Put your lid on and when you're done you want to take that out and you could drip it in the lid. And that's how that works. Okay, this is our 24 ounce teapot with the infuser. Uh, you want to just fill that up with two and a half teaspoons of tea leaves or two and a half tablespoons. Again, it's, it's basically one teaspoon per 10 ounces of water. Uh, being that this is 24 ounces, it's going to be around two and a half. Depending on your flavoring, the way you like it, you can even do three. The 45 ounce pot is wonderful. It serves about eight cups of smaller cups of tea. Um, this is about two and a half to three cups of tea. Okay, now we're going to talk about the basic tea types and what their health benefits are and the amount of caffeine. This is a white tea. White teas are picked in the spring, um, just a small growing season. Basically, it's the bud and two leaves under it that's picked. It's, it's just air dried. It's not processed or fermented in any way. It has the lowest caffeine, about 10 milligrams per cup. Um, coffee typically has 120, so it is the lowest in caffeine out of all the tea types. The highest in antioxidants, though. This is a Sencha green tea. There's about 20 milligrams of caffeine per cup in green tea. Basically, this is the second in the level of caffeine out of the tea types. It's typically steamed um, or air dried. The green teas uh, retain a lot of the natural antioxidants. Uh, it's really good for um, basically taking your appetite and bringing it down a notch. It's great for um, helping you fight infections. This is a, a black tea. Black teas have 60 milligrams of caffeine. They are fermented. Um, still though, half of uh, a cup of coffee is the content of caffeine in the black tea. Black teas are really well known for reducing cholesterol. They're considered heart healthy teas. This is an example of a herbal tea or a botanical blend. Uh, botanical blends do not have any caffeine either. They are typically um, fruit, spices, herbs, 
um, and a lot of medicinal properties depending on what's in the the herbal tea mixture. Um, this is a red tea. Red teas are from South Africa and they actually have no caffeine. This is a wonderful caffeine free drink. A lot of antioxidants similar to the green tea in that it does have a nice appetite suppressant. It's a really nice relaxant without causing you to fall asleep. Um, but it's really good for digestion, great for your skin, 